Hello everyone, this, my name is Darius Young, and in this part we will begin modeling the head. We are definitely not going to finish in this first tutorial. <coughs> um, so, I'm just going to make a sphere. Come on now. And so now some of my keys get stuck, which is really, really, really annoying. Okay, so that's good. All right, so now I'm going to take a piece of that, Shift D, P, selection, tab into edit mode, and let's turn on all of that. So now that's good to go. Go to edge mode first. And let's move this over. So basically, I just turned on the rate topology tools. Um, I'm just gonna have to work with that. All uh, right, so let's turn on mirror modifier too while we're at it. And I'll right, rotate. And whoopsie daisy, did not turn on clipping. So let's turn that on. Good. Here we go. And, oh, right. <coughs> oh, what happened? <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, so. That's okay. And there we go. I was holding shift that whole time and not control. All right, so that is the foundation of the eye. Now that that's done and over with, we still need the um, sphere for the bottom part. So let's hurry up and model that. Or uh, start blocking it in anyway. Because like I said before, this is not going to be finished are anywhere near finished <laughs> in this tutorial. We're just going to start on it and hope we get far. Or far enough. Far enough. Yeah, let's hope we get far enough. Where's that? There we go. That's good. All right. <clears throat> so now we officially don't need this anymore. But I'm just going to move it on a different layer in case I need it for reference again. So, uh, these vertices actually come out. Whoa! Oh, right, I forgot. Let's turn that off. And these come out, right? Uh, I'm scale them, I guess. Move them out this way. Move them back in. But they do come out. And, uh, sake of 
time, just move that in manually, like so. And we want to extrude this in uh, such a way that it resembles the way you would normally do a mouth topology because um, when we make shape keys and stuff later it'll be easier uh, well I still haven't to be honest I still haven't figured out how they animate Sonic's mouth at all I just I don't know how they do it where they you know have it sway from side to side and whatnot it's simple doing it you know it's simple doing it in the where the mouth is in the center but it doesn't look like Sonic it looks like or shadow or whoever you're modeling from that universe it looks weird and so I find it best to mimic uh, actual topology or actual good topology but I just I just I'm not sure how to flip the mouth when animating I'm not sure how you make a shape key for that uh, Uh, so I'm going to change this to a circle. Ooh, that's a really ugly circle, isn't it? There we go. Well, I guess I could have waited. Because it's still kind of rough. So I'll just keep uh, editing it. You know, this process, I'm probably going to end this tutorial once I finish this. Because this process can be very, very slow. <coughs> And tedious. You need a lot of patience because the form the forms will form properly. You just have to whoops. You just have to let them. And once they do, it'll look really super awesome. It just takes a minute. And by a minute, I mean a really long time. Because that's the slang we use. Dang. Okay. Uh, just ready for another extrusion. There we go. It's not supposed to come in like that just yet. Just scale it to the smallest possible. <coughs> and what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually scale that back out. And I'm going to move it inward because that was terrible. Ooh, that looks even worse. So let's not do that. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, let's, let's not do that. So I see it's just suffering from a lack of vertices in here, which is understandable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to scope mode. I'm going to hit C to make sure this is on a clay. But I'm going to smooth it around that area. C, 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 C. Just bring that out. I just said, Jesus time. Grab it. Force it. Force it out. Force it down their throats. Okay. Hmm. Right, so now, time to optimize topology. So, basically, what uh, I'm doing is I'm moving the vertices from the side of the mouth toward the center so that uh, I have better deformation when forming 
or when you know if if you if you guys decide to make shape keys for words and whatnot that it'll be easier to do so because uh, his mouth has more to work with than just the corners because you can see all the uh, geometry here is concentrated mainly in the center which is not necessarily a good thing it's not a good thing at all actually so we have to change that and change that there we go Whew. this is tedious work modeling shadow or sonic characters that's why uh, people uh, this one dude asked me to model like every single last sonic character and I'm just like do no if you can't take the hints from uh, sonic or shadow on how to model sonic characters then I can't help you because my, my job or I don't think my job is to hold your guy told you guys his hand on a uh, tutorial especially if it's not a beginner one so I can understand uh, I, I'm giving the do some slack because he asked that on the beginner modeling sonic tutorial uh, however uh, uh, I'm not even gonna entertain comments like that on uh, this on these tutorials because like I said it's not a beginner tutorial at all and if people don't like that then I will it's it's easier for me to <coughs> move these tutorials along if they're not for beginners because then I can get, make more content I have plenty of beginner tutorials anyway so you know if they wanna watch a beginner tutorial on how to do stuff like this they can they can because I have it I, <coughs> I have made it <coughs> therefore I've done my civil duty I think I think that's pretty fair of me anyway yeah yeah you guys probably wouldn't believe <laughs> the absurd comments I get about people wanted me to model every single thing that they've ever seen like okay I modeled Goku so that you can see how to model like every single Dragon Ball Z character ever because every single Dragon Ball Z character ever looks like every other Dragon Ball Z character with the exceptions of like Beerus and Champa from Dragon Ball Super that's about it because <clears throat> if you look at Whis he's just bas he's basically just the androids except you know pale skin so I mean it's really, uh, you know, if you if you follow the tutorials properly, you can see the uh, similarities between the characters that I model and the characters you want to model, and you'll be able to use those to make your models. <coughs> Now let's give this a subdivision surface modifier. Subsurf, subsurf, subsurf. Yeah, I remember when it, I remember when it was called that subsurf. At least that's how I heard it when I first started Blender. I always heard it as subsurf. guy named David Ward he used to pronounce it like that
I actually made my first character uh, watching his videos back in Blender 2.47. <laughs> so that was a that was a long time ago when I made my first character. Yeah, I remember the exact model. I actually had uh I didn't know that I had a different version than he did. I had a uh uh later, not later, a uh He had yeah I I had an earlier version of it. He had a later version. And I was frust it was frustrating because I couldn't do what he was doing until I figured out that I had a later version. So uh you know, I, once I got the version he had, I was able to follow the tutorial a bit better. Um and I didn't know <laughs> I didn't I that was like it wasn't my introduction into 3D, but I was still I was still definitely a novice in 3D so I didn't know that you know stuff got updated and you know um, it just stuff can change so drastically between different versions of the same software I mean just look at blender you know it went from that crappy setup they had in the two in the 2.47 days to this you know Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's always cool to reminisce. Sorry if that went off track. Uh, yeah, it's not a if, it went off track. But, uh, you know, it's a good, it's a good thing that it went off track. Uh, I like, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed taking a trip down memory, memory lane. That was a good trip down memory lane. I hope you guys enjoyed my trip <laughs> down memory lane. Maybe we can go on another one soon. I don't know. Let's finish this mouth. Because uh, after this, I'm ending this tutorial. Because this, this, j just this part of the face, you can see, is taking a lot of time to uh, get right. And so that's why I'm modeling this like I am. Good. Because I remember the last time, not the last time, the very first time I modeled Shadow, and I modeled his face, or his mouth anyway, I modeled it so terribly. I modeled his mouth so terribly. It was horrible. Looking on that, looking back on it. That's, that's generally, that's, I always do that. I always look back on my work and think, oh my god, this is garbage. Like, I don't... I don't understand how it passed for <laughs> good work. Like, people were saying, Darius, that's cool. I'm like, why would you think this is cool? This is terrible. I mean, I know why some people think it's cool, because they can't do it. But, you know, me, I'm sitting here like, ooh, this is horrible. And I'm just happy that I'm better. You know? I'm always trying to improve. Always trying to go to the next level. A super Saiyan blundering. Okay. That'll be good enough for this tutorial. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more modeling shadow tutorials. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a good day.